business <coughs> because uh, they, uh, my dad used jazz. And uh, there was a place where most of the all the White House is still there, White House Cafe. It was a jazz club. Forties. Till now, and that's not really a jazz club now. One night a week. But he used to go there and he fell in love with her most of the things that he moved us in nineteen seventy four. And he thought, you know, with his kids it's gonna be a vegan lifestyle. But you know, he didn't know that moving from North New Jersey, which is a different planet, to Hermosa Beach is like walking into a live Chichen Chong. <laughs> you know, it really is. And, you know, all your peers, all your kids in school, I mean, my eighth grade class, and which was a Catholic school, a bunch of kids got busted for a week. You know, it was this. It was their guys making it. But, you know, I turned out okay. I think it was But, yeah, that's how I got to uh, California. And then lived there for 27 years, and I moved back when I joined the Mexican. But this area, what I'm saying is. These are donated instruments and drums. It's like that great kid with Bill Stevenson. He painted all everybody's. Sorry. He painted everybody's. Well, he is the same color on his book. Yeah. Yeah, primer gray. He was a charge. Yeah. It was dirty. Yeah. And then Lucky's. Circle jokes. He moves in. He made friends with me. Yeah. He was amazing. They were amazing men. He was a wonderful man. Really smart. But you know the old uh, stereotype of like big, jolly guy. I'll let you soak every day and you can ask me any questions. That yellow drum is Dave Grohl from when he played the screen. Wow. Thanks for the help. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to give you a cup. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll see some pictures of me when you play for a new band. Here. Here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And there's one over there, and there's several over there. So got over there. Henry. Oh, yeah. Milo. Yeah. Descendants. Did you know them when they were pretty young? Yeah. I knew Bill when he was this massive little kid on the going out fishing all the time. And he'd come to practice. Him and Frank would come to practice in their fishing boots, smelling like chum, yeah. you know. But I will give you, I'll let you guys soak this in. I'm going to be right in the next room. Yeah. I'm going to give you a little a couple of stories. One about Raymond Petty.